Hi everybody, welcome to Ace Engineering Academy and Ace Online. In this video, we'll be discussing about PG admissions for IIT Kanpur. So, the website goes like this, iitk.ac.in slash doaa slash PG admission. So, when you click on this particular website, you will get the information related to this programs offered for MTech Master of Science by Research, then PhD program, all these details will be mentioned here in this particular website. Now, here the online application portal will be available from 20th March 2024 Wednesday between 11 a.m. to April 11th 2024 Thursday up to 2 p.m. So, this is the portal announcement which is very very important dear students to understand the deadlines. So, try to understand this is the online application portal dates. Then coming to the programs offered, there are so many programs offered for July 2024 semester admissions. So MTech you can see Aerospace Engineering, Unmanned Aerial Systems Engineering, Biological Sciences and Bioengineering, Chemical Engineering, Civil Engineering, Computer Science and Engineering, Cognitive Systems, Earth Sciences, then Electrical Engineering, Management Sciences, Material Science and Engineering, Interdisciplinary Program on Material Science, then Mechanical Engineering, Photonics Science and Engineering, Sustainable Energy Engineering, Space Planetary and Astronomical Sciences and Engineering. So, these are the MTech programs dear students. Then MS by Research, if you observe Aerospace Engineering only in Aerodynamics, Flight Mechanics, Propulsion and Structures, Civil Engineering only in Environmental Engineering, Geoinformatics and Structural Engineering, Chemical Engineering, Computer Science and Engineering, Cognitive Science, then electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, photonic science and engineering, sustainable energy engineering. Then there is MTech or MS by research program in cyber security only for sponsored part-time external candidate without financial assistantship. So without financial assistantship only for sponsored or part-time or external candidate. Then PhD is also there. Here aerospace, biological sciences and bioengineering, chemical engineering, civil engineering, computer science and engineering, earth sciences, electrical engineering, management sciences, material science and engineering, then interdisciplinary program on material science, mechanical engineering, photonic science and engineering, sustainable energy and engineering, chemistry, cognitive science, economic sciences, mathematics, statistics, physics, space, planetary and astronomical sciences and engineering. So, these many programs are there in IIT Kanpur dear students. So, you can see all these programs here. Then coming to the important information or general information. See detailed information on PG programs offered at IIT Kanpur is available at PG manual. So, here you can observe there is a PG manual tab. If you click on this PG manual tab, you will get the complete information dear students. Then, so regarding the important reservations as per the government of India norms, Indian candidates can apply for this. For application form, reference letter form, information brochure, eligibility criteria and other relevant details, you can visit the important links tab that is there. So if you click on the important links tab, so you will get all the information that is required. So, candidates who are in the final year of their program likely to finish the program by July 26, 2024 may also apply and secure provisional admission for the session commencing in July 2024, that is 2024-2025 first semester year students. So, financial assistantship, institute assistantship or scholarship will be provided to non-sponsored PhD, MTech, MDES and MS by research students. Okay, so this is the thing. And he has mentioned about withdrawn from the program. The last date of withdrawal from the program with 1000 rupees deduction is July 12, 2024, dear students. If withdrawal is received from aforesaid date, the deduction will be as per the institute norms. So, refund processing will be taken up after August 15, 2024. Refund may take up to 21 working days. So, this is about the withdrawal process and he has given the withdrawal form also. So, try to look at this. Okay. Then, how to apply? See, the online application portal will be available from March 20, 2024, Wednesday 11 a.m. to April 11, 2024, Thursday 2 p.m. So, you can go to the important links tab. So, there you can register there. Then, 
Here India as well as foreign nationals can apply only through online mode of application. This is one thing given. PhD applicants must arrange for two letters of reference as well. So try to re remember this carefully dear students if you are going for PhD. So two letters of reference as well are important here. Then MTech admissions to great. All the admission offers to gate qualified candidates will be displayed on the common offer acceptance portal. So COAP portal in that only all the offers will be visible. Then candidates must register at the COAP portal for viewing and accepting their offers. Registration on COAP portal is free. So candidates are advised to download COAP 2024 information brochure and follow the guidelines available on COAP 2024 website for participation. So for those candidates COAP registration number is mandatory for applying in IIT Kanpur admission portal. So try to remember COAP registration number is very important and you have to use that COAP registration number in order to apply for IIT Kanpur admission. Okay. So you can see the application is rupees 500 for general EWS OBC candidates and rupees 250 for SEST and all DAP candidates. So the application fee is waived for candidates in the foreign national category. A separate application form is to be filled for each program or department. So try to remember this also carefully dear students. A separate application form is to be filled for each program or department. So now let us see the eligibility requirement. So if you click on this eligibility requirement, if you click on this eligibility requirement, so you will get a matrix like this. So here list of MTech paper codes are given. So you can see AE, Aerospace Engineering. So you all know Civil Engineering, CE, all these are the codes that were mentioned here. Now if we go towards the bottom like this, so you can see different departments, Aerospace Engineering. So what are the different specializations and here you can see the gate papers with what gate papers you can apply. Okay. So if you take aerospace engineering in aerodynamic specialization, aerothermodynamics and thermal sciences, computational mechanics, flight mechanics, propulsion and structures. So with AE paper you can apply for all these specializations. With chemical paper aerodynamic specialization can be applied, computational mechanics, then propulsion and structures. So like this he has given matrix for each and every department dear students. So let us see the various departments that are there here. Biological sciences and bioengineering is there. Now civil engineering. So civil engineering. So you can see with AE paper you can apply for some of the things. With AG agriculture engineering paper you can apply for some of the specializations. So at the top you can see these are the specializations dear students and these are the gate paper codes. Okay. So you can observe that. So civil engineering paper if you have written you can apply for all the specializations that are there. Okay. So similarly you can see if you Write AG, Agriculture Engineering paper, you can apply for Environmental Engineering, Geoinformatics, Hydraulics and Water Resource Engineering like this. And if you have applied for Architecture and Planning paper in the gate examination and qualified there, you can apply for Infrastructure Engineering and Management Specialization. So like this, you can see all the complete information for various specializations and what are the paper codes that are eligible for applying in those particular specializations everything is given dear students so you can see each and every specialization each and every department related information everything is mentioned clearly dear students so for computer science and engineering so the specialization only one specialization is there computer science and engineering at this particular thing so computer science paper whoever has written they can apply electronics and communication paper whoever has written they can apply for computer science electrical engineering they can also apply and here mathematics people also can apply here so you can see different departments are there so management programs if anybody wants to apply 
so for department of management sciences so all the department or all the gate paper people are eligible to apply for these management studies also so try to see here now if you see electrical engineering there are so many specializations dear students you can observe these are the specializations that are there under electrical engineering so electronics and communication students can apply for certain specializations electrical engineering pen can apply for certain specializations instrumentation people also can apply for certain specialization and physics paper whoever has written can apply for certain specialization <coughs> excuse for certain specializations so these are all the things that are there you can go through all the different specializations dear students so mechanical engineering also there are so many specializations so you can observe these specializations and with ae paper you can apply for these specializations with chemical paper you can apply for certain specialization with computer science paper you can apply for certain specialization electronics paper you can apply for certain specializations under mechanical engineering then with mechanical engineering paper you can apply for all specializations then metallurgical technology mt with that paper also you can apply for certain specialization even with pi also you can apply for this manufacturing sciences specialization dear students so for different programs and different specializations what are the gate papers that are required everything is clearly mentioned try to go through these carefully and if you want to go for the exact specialization or if you want to go for allied specializations also you need to see what is the eligibility criteria and accordingly you have to apply for these specializations okay so then there is one more list that is cfti list that is centrally funded technical institutes list that is given here in the website so you can go through these cfti's website also and understand related to that particular information okay now let us see the eligibility requirement if you click on the eligibility requirement so here get paper code eligibility for mtech programs in all departments this is what i have shown you and list of cfti's also i have shown you just now okay so eligibility requirements so you can see the specified minimum marks or cpi cumulative performance index referred to in subsequent sections implies a minimum of 55 percent marks or 5.5 on a 10 point scale as long as it is not less than the minimum pass marks or cpi otherwise the specified minimum marks or cpi implies the minimum pass marks or cpi now here you can see eligibility criteria that was given clearly so phd in engineering in various specializations you can see offered by the department and interdisciplinary programs and here eligibility criteria masters degree in engineering with marks or cpi not below the specified minimum or bachelor's degree in engineering or science four year program with a minimum of 75% marks or 7.5 cpi and a valid gate score so the requirement of gate score is waived for candidates with bachelor's degree in engineering from the centrally funded technical institutes so cftis so this is what is the list of cftis that is there for them there is a provision that is given or a master's degree in science or an allied area while satisfying each of the following three criteria a minimum of 65 percent marks or 6.5 cpi in the master's degree first division in bachelor's degree and valid jrf score or higher in gate score so these are the things that are there for phd admissions dear students so you can see so much of the criteria is given so phd in sciences is also there then let us go for mtech so if you go for mtech programs so phd in management is also there phd in design is also there so for that the gate or ced score is required and minimum 75 percent is required you have to go through these instructions very carefully before applying for any of the program so master of technology mtech there are so many specializations so you can see already we have discussed about what are the different papers in which you have to write the examination so that you are eligible for different master of technology programs so here a bachelor's degree in engineering or science four year program or a master's degree in science with marks or cpi not below the specified minimum 
So second thing, a valid GATE score is required for admission to the MTech program in the case of regular non-sponsored candidates. The requirement of GATE score is waived off for the candidates with the BTech or BS four-year degree from IITs with a minimum overall CPA of 6.5 and a minimum CPA of 8 in the last two years in BTech or BS four-year. So this is the thing. So Master of Technology in Cyber Security under the Department of Computer Science Engineering. So bachelor's degree in engineering or science four-year program or a master's degree in science with marks or CPI not below, not below the specified minimum. So here a valid GATE score is required for admission to the MTech program in the case of non-sponsored candidates. The requirement of GATE score is waived off for the candidates with the BTech BS four-year degree from IITs with a minimum overall CPA of 6.5 and a minimum CPA of 8 in the last 2 years in BTEC BS 4 year program dear students. Not only that, so there are so many programs for different programs, different disciplines, everything are mentioned. So you can go through all the particular information and what are the eligibility criteria that are required. So for each and every program, they have given certain eligibility criteria. So try to go through them very carefully before applying. Okay, so before applying in this IIT Kanpur website, first you have to register in the COAP portal, use that registration number, then only you have to go for applying in this particular website dear students. So, how to apply already we have discussed, there are certain important links that are there. So, if you click on this important links. So, if you click on the important links, so you can observe, apply online is there, contact the departments, eligibility criteria, financial assistantship, then the total information brochure is there, frequently asked questions are there, then, so certificate that is required for certain reservation categories, so that is also present here, so you can observe all these things carefully. Then what is the information for part-time students, external students, important information for sponsored students and foreign nationals. So everything is mentioned in the important links section dear students. So you can observe important links is here, eligibility requirement is there, information brochure you can download, then PG manual for all the postgraduate programs you can download and go through that carefully and see whatever are the eligibility requirements then you can apply first in the COAP portal and using that registration of COAP portal then you have to come to this IIT Kanpur website and click on apply online so that you will get the important details. So when you go for this one you can see apply online with a valid gate score for MTech program without a valid gate score so all the information will be they are dear students. So, if you want to go for the sample application, you can click here to understand about how to apply. Okay. Thank you. All the very best.